Welcome to Microbrewer Podcast, session number 13. We talk about everything craft beer related, but really want to focus on people who are looking at starting up their own microbreweries or want to take their existing breweries to the next level. My name is Nathan Pierce, and I'm so happy I'll be your new host for the podcast, taking over for Joe Shellrude. But before we get started, I want to ask you, if you could ask just one question to every brewer or brewery owner, what would you ask? Go to the show notes for this episode and leave your comments there at microbrewer.com session 13. In this episode, I want to talk about the microbrewer podcast and the transition to the new host. I want to talk a little bit about the format going forward and give an update on my plans to start a brewery. So most of this is covered in the recent blog post. I think it just went up this morning on the Microbrewer website. You can go to microbrewer.com slash blog, and it's the most recent one there. It's pretty much what I'm going to talk about here is covered in more detail, and um, there might be a little bit of differences. I think I'm covering pretty much the same stuff. So about the Microbrewer podcast, I've, I was really shocked when I heard in episode 12, Joe said that it was going to be the last episode. I know he made the right decision. He had to set priorities. He's got a baby on the way. And I support him in that. I still felt bad that Microbrewer podcast was ending I've loved listening to Microbrewer since it started in February. I've really looked forward to the episodes coming out and hearing from the different brewers. It's cool. It's just like chilling for 30 minutes, hanging out with the brewer, a brewery owner, hearing what they have to say about their business. And that's really cool. I'm, I'm the kind of person who I like to go behind the scenes. I like to figure out what makes these things work and just know more about the beer that I'm consuming, the products that I use, and the life that I live in general. So Microbrewer Podcast has really been fun for me, and it was just timely for me also as I'm planning to start a brewery. I'm going to give you a little bit more update on that later. And Microbrewer Podcast is just a great resource there's so much good information that Joe has been getting out of the guests and like I just talked about a minute ago it's just been really fun and it's been really neat also seeing the community build up around microbrewer podcast and the microbrewer website and stuff and seeing people commenting on the tweets and the blog posts and the podcast uh, show notes pages and stuff like that I think the craft beer community is a really neat community everybody seems to be a pretty happy bunch a pretty creative bunch and microbrewer has established a venue for that another outlet for that another hub for that to happen and so I was really sad that the podcast would be ending and I was really I just I was listening to episode 12 in my car okay <laughs> I I found myself not even listening anymore. I I the sound was coming in my ear and my thoughts were spinning all around in my head. I had to turn off the podcast. It took me like a week before I even turned it on again. I was so shocked. So I called Joe up. You might have remembered me from episode 5 talking about my plans to start a brewery. I'll talk about that more in a minute. And so I called up Joe and just talk to him a little bit about his decision to end the podcast. And I just posed a question to him. I asked him, would you be willing to let me take over this podcast? So Joe, if you're listening, I thank you for letting me do this. And, um, 
I support you in your decision. I hope I can make this podcast as good as you brought it up to be and hopefully take it to some new interesting places and just grow it and make it an even more flourishing community than it already has been. So going forward, I want to standardize each episode a little bit so it's a little bit more clear what we're going to be getting from each guest. Each guest. So I'm coming up with a list of questions that I want to ask each guest. And it might vary a little bit. I might slip in some other questions here. You know, the general discussion will lead to other questions. But I want to have like a base core of questions that I'll ask every guest. So we basically know that we're going to get some deep information. We're going to go inside the industry and inside our guests, inside their heads, really figure out like why they got into the industry. What are their biggest challenges and what are their biggest aspirations or keen insights that we wouldn't get? So I also want to have other guests. Of course, we're going to have brewers and brewery owners, but I want to have other guests from other sectors of the industry, like distributors and retailers and marketers and different areas of the craft beer industry so that we can get a broader picture, maybe more detailed information from different corners of the industry to help us understand what's really going to help a brewery succeed, especially for our guests who are starting a brewery, they want to start a brewery, or maybe have recently started a brewery. These are the kind of guests and kind of information that's going to help out with those different corners of establishing a successful brewery. So I'm still playing with the format a little bit, so let me know if you have suggestions, if there's a question you'd like to ask our guests, and leave a comment on the show notes for this episode, please. So as I said, I've been planning to start a brewery. If you want to go to session five, microbrewer podcast session five, Joe interviewed me in my plans to start a brewery. So now I'm going to give a little bit of an update on my plans to start a brewery. About a year ago, a little bit over a year ago actually, I quit my job and pretty soon thereafter I started planning to start a brewery. You could go to Microbrewer Podcast Session 5 and hear more about that. I just want to give an update Um, since Joe and I talked about that in session five. Also, there's a little bit more detail at my most recent blog post on my personal blog page. It's at nathanpierce.me. My name is spelled N-A-T-H-A-N-P-I-E-R-C-E. So you can go to nathanpierce.me and just search in, do the search partners, and the most recent blog should show up how to choose partners when starting a brewery, a shared vision. So as an update, a couple months ago, we finished the draft business plan. I'm getting suggestions for the draft business plan and all of the partners dropped out. So I learned some things from that. I need to solidify the vision. We were all trying to do something different from each other. That just doesn't work. I mean, we all have to stay true to ourselves, you know? It's not about like, this is what I want to do and this is what we have to do. And that's what you want to do and I'm not willing to do that. It's about, this is deep down inside of me, what I'm really trying to achieve. It's like my, uh, it's kind of like my baby, you know? It's kind of like my artistic vision. I think anybody, any artist or somebody who creates something, even a business owner, especially on a smaller scale where it's like really personal and I'm doing something because I, I care a lot about it. It's a vision that comes in from inside. So if I'm not staying true to my vision, then it's not authentic. Nobody's going to buy into that. The customers are going to sense that. 
any investors are going to sense that. If I'm not super excited about what I'm doing, then there's not really any point in doing it, right? I got to do what I really know is the thing that needs to be done and what I really want to see brought to this world. So solidifying the vision is one thing that I'm really working on. I've, I've realized I've lacked on that. I need to do that as I go about finding new partners. And um, you could, like I said, you could read more detail at nathanpierce.me on the most recent blog post of June 9th. And after we find partners, we just need to find money. No problem. No big deal. I'm going to be giving periodic updates um, on the podcast, so stay tuned to that. Joe Shellrude actually initially um, asked to interview me. His plan was to follow me through this process as a way to educate the microbrewer audience on the whole process of starting a brewery, and I think that was a good idea. So I don't want to make this podcast all about me, but I don't want to leave the audience hanging, so... I plan on giving up, you know, periodic updates now and again as that goes along. It's turning into more of a longer term goal at this point. And lastly, I want to address just any concerns or questions about whether this podcast will get in the way of my plans to start a brewery, or even if it's a stretch for my overall goals or my life in general. I used to do audio journals. That's kind of. It's kind of a quirky little thing. I don't know. I was inspired by NPR, and I carried around um, a digital voice recorder. It's the one I'm using now, actually, to record this first podcast. It's the Olympus Digital Voice Recorder WS300M. Actually, I'll put a link to that on my uh, show notes. They probably don't even make it anymore. They have probably have a more recent one. So I carried this thing around when I went on vacation or to trips to visit, visit friends and whatnot. And I would just kind of like every once in a while just record where I'm at, what am I doing, what do I see, what do I smell. And I would like interview my friends. Hey, what's going on? Where were we today? How how did that make you feel? Wasn't that fun? I didn't really do anything with it. I just burned them onto a disc and I kept the CDs for the future, you know. Some people write. I used to write a lot in journals. I don't do that much anymore. I was listening to NPR for a lot for a while, and I don't know, I was inspired, and I was doing audio journals. Also, in session five, when I was talking with Joe about my plans to start a brewery, I told him, man, I'm glad you're doing a podcast, because now I don't have to concentrate on that. I was actually thinking of starting a beer podcast, something beer-related, because I was looking for beer podcasts, and I didn't find ones that I felt really spoke to me very much. So lastly, this process, hosting Microbrewer Podcast, is going to help me in my plans to start a brewery because I'm going to be able to learn from all these people that I interview and incorporate these lessons learned into my plans and into my future business. So hosting Microbrewer Podcast is not going to get in the way of that. It's not too far off base from my overall life goals or whatever it's actually kind of a logical progression in a few different ways so thanks for listening there's going to be uh the future podcasts i hope will come out on a weekly basis planning to do them just following joe's lead and release them every tuesday And if you want to check the show notes for this episode, you can go to microbrewer.com slash session 13, or you can just go to microbrewer.com. That's M-I-C-R-O-B-R-E-W-R.com. And then click on the podcast link at the top and you'll be able to find it there. So you've had some time to think about it. Remember the question at the beginning of this episode, please Go to the show notes page now, and in the comment section at the bottom, please answer this one question. If you could ask just one question to every brewer or brewery owner, what would you ask? Please just do that now. 
It'll be a really big help to me to make this show as good as it can be for all of us, for the whole microbrewer community. Thank you so much for that. And I really want to thank you for listening to this episode. Until next time, support your local brewery, and we'll see you right here next time at microbrewer.com.